Welcome back, folk. Just before the ad break, we were looking at mean, median, mode. We're going to quickly recap, and then we're going to look at some good, deep, meaningful questions on this section. Okay. In recapping, let's pretend we've got the following numbers. 3, 3, 2, 5, and 7. The mean, to calculate the mean, what would we do? We would actually take all these figures, so we'd say 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7, and we would divide it by the number of um, bits of information that we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We divide it by 5. When we add this up, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 2 is uh, 8, uh, plus 5 is 13, plus 7 is 20. 20 divided by 5 will give me 4. So my mean would be 4. Just one thing quickly, because this is a common mistake that comes up in the metric exams every year. So many people put this on our calculator. And we say, right, we're going to use our calculator, so let's do this. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7 divided by 5 equals, and they get an answer here of 14,4. Yes, luck. We know the answer is 4. How did the calculator get 14.4? We something wrong with the calculator. Might as well throw it away. No, not at all. The calculator knows what it's doing. But this calculator says, you know what, when I was a tiny little calculator, I learned something called bod maths. In other words, you always do multiplication and division before addition. So by doing this in my calculator, and I want you to look here at the screen, I'm going to show this arrow around here. So I've got 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7 divided by 5. Calculator looks at this and says, you know what, I've got a division sign here. 7 divided by 5 is actually 1 comma 4. So it puts 1 comma 4 here, then adds it to the 5, the 2, the 3, and the 3. So always get into the habit. Okay? And I always tell my students this, rather put in extra lines and get your answer right than be lazy and try and take shortcut. So you can see when I said 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5, I got 20. I wrote that answer down, 20, then 5. So I'm now in my calculator going to say 20 divided by 5 equals, and there you can see the answer for. Okay. Don't do it all in one step. You're going to be prone to making careless mistakes. Then we looked at median, and remember we said median was like middle. Right, so we're going to find the middle one. But we've got to first of all put all our data in order. So looking at my numbers, Putting them in order, I got a 2, a 3, a 3, a 5, and a 7. And remember we said that we always check that we've written down the same number of data that's been given to us. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits of data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, bits of data arranged. Then we just find the middle one. So one here, one there, one here, one there. There's my middle, so my median is number three. Mode is the one that occurs the most. Mode, most. What number here occurs the most? Well, obviously, it's going to be the threes. Okay, that's the basics. We did that in the last session. We just recapped it. Now, let's apply this knowledge. Okay. The principal of Hills Primary School compiled data of the number of learners who received social grants in each class. He arranged these numbers in ascending order as follows. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7. Okay. Nice, he's put them in order. So what's happened? The principal's saying, listen, we've got to do a bit of research. We want to know how many of our students get social grants, right? And so he went around to every class. And one teacher said, no, I've got no one. Another said, oh, I've got seven. Someone said, oh, I've got five. Another one said, oh, I've only got one. i got two. i got three. i got five. i got seven. I've got none. And so the headmaster wrote all this information down and then put it in order. Okay, 
Very nice of him because it's going to make our life easier. So there you can see naught, naught, then the ones, then the twos, then the threes, then the fours, then the fives, sixes, and seven. So these numbers are from every class. Question one, we're asked, how many different classes are there at Hills Primary School? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21 different classes. Next question. Determine the mode, then the median, and then the mean. Okay, mode. Mode means which one occurs the most. Well, let's have a look here. I've got two zeros. I've got three ones. Two, I've got three. Threes are one, two, three, four. Ah, so far three is my mode. Four, I got one, two, five, I got one, two, six, I got one, two, three, seven, I got one, two. So it must be three, because there were four threes all together. Okay, so determine the mode. The mode is three. The next one says determine the median. Now, folk, I'm going to work off this very table, so I don't have to rewrite them again. And the reason I'm going to work off this table is because it's already been arranged in order. Okay, so remember to get to the middle, we cross one off on either side. That's if it's in a straight line. This data, there's so much it's not in a straight line. It's like this, then this, then this. So I'm going to take one out, hello, take a high, take a low, take a high, take a low, take, and eventually I'm going to come to the middle. Look what I mean. Take a low, take a high, take a low, take a high, take a low, take a high, one here, one there, one here, one there, one here, one there, one here, one there. Right, one here, one there, one here, one there, one here, one there, a low, there's my middle one. So my mode is the three. Also three. Three seems a popular number today. All right. So that's my mode. And remember, I knew there was only going to be one in the middle. How did I know that? Because I had an odd number of data. And he had 21 data. If I had 22 or 24 or 20, I would have had two numbers in the middle. So I would have had to add them together and divide by two. But in this case... Odd number of data, 21 bits of information, found the middle one, which happened to be the number three. Okay, finally then, it says calculate the median. So, folks, we're going to take all this data, and again, I'm going to use um, everything straight from here. And let's just get rid of all this so it doesn't confuse me. And here we go. So, we are going to add up all our bits of information. All right, so my first slide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then here I've got 2, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 is a 12, 13, 14, um, 18, 22. Then 5, 10, 3 sixes are 18, making 28. 28 plus 7 is 35. 35 plus 7, 42. So now when I add all this up, I'm going to get 4, 11, 71. So I got 71 when I add it all up, divided by how many bits of information? 21. Calculator, out you come please. I need you now desperately in my life. 20, 71 divided by 21, and that gave me an answer of 3,38. 3, 3,38. Cool. Easy. Let's have a look at another example here. Tim Baker compared the monthly salaries of the employees at two call centers, one in Greytown and the other in Johannesburg. The following are the monthly salaries in Rand earned by call center agents. So we can see here that one agent gets 4,200 Rand, another one 4,320 Four five four six five zero oh, four thousand six hundred fifty five thousand five hundred, and then in Joburg we've got others earning five thousand five hundred right up to eight thousand nine hundred. Nice thing about this, it's all in order. Four two four three four five four six four six four six four uh, five 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 six seven two. 
This one's this in order. 5,500, 5,525, 5,962, 62, 62, 63, 6, uh, 7, 8, 8, 2, 8, 9. Great. So this person is Timbek has put it in order for us. That's going to help us when we have to work out the mode as well as the median. Okay, because the mode you'll be able to see straight away which one occurs the most. Right, first question. How many employees are working at the Johannesburg call center? Well, at the Johannesburg call center, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people working in Johannesburg. Calculate the average or the mean salary earned at the Greytown Agency. Okay, so in order to calculate the, uh, uh, the mean, we've got to add them all up and divide by the number of people. So let's do that. On my calculator, I'm going to say I've got 4,200 was my first one. So let's just do that. 4,200 plus 4,320 plus 4,500 uh, plus 4,650 and I got two of those plus in fact I got three of them hey delete three of them plus 5,500 plus 5,650 and finally plus 7,000 250 and that gave me an answer of 45,370 okay so let's write that down quickly so my average is 45,370 divided by what how many people are working in the great town one two three four five six seven eight nine people. So we're going to divide it by nine. So our calculator again, please. We need to use it. 45,370. Divide that by nine. And I'm getting my answer then of 5,041 rand. 1,041 rand. And if I remember correctly, 11 cents. Okay. So that is the mean of the uh, mean salary earned at Greytown. Right, write down the median monthly salary earned at the Johannesburg branch. So median is middle. So let's do this quickly. All right, I'm gonna get another color here so it makes life a little bit interesting. Right, it's already in order from our lowest to our highest. How many bits of information do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. An even number of information, so now I'm going to get two in the middle. So let's have a look. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of that. Ah, these two are in the middle. But they're both the same. So I know the median is 6250, because when I say 6250, plus 6250, I'm going to get an answer of 12,500, divided by 2, land up with 6250. So my median is 6250. Okay, another question. Here we go. What is the modal salary earned in Greytown? In other words, mode most. Let's have a look. I would say the mode is 4,650. Why? Because there are three people earning that salary. Here there's one, one here, one there, three there, one person here, one person there, and one person there. So it's 4,650. Oh. 4,650. Oh. Then it says find the median uh, monthly salary of the employees in both agencies. Ah, so what are we going to have to do here? We want to say, right, let's look at all our agents, everyone at Greytown and Joburg, and let's put them in the middle. Now, guys, it's going to get a little complicated because now what we have to do is we have to, and let me get rid of all this information so you don't get confused and you can see exactly what I'm doing. So now what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to say, right, 
Let's look at Great Town and Joburg and put it in order. So we can see we've got 4,200 first. Then we got 4,320. Then we got 4,500. Then we got 4,650. Then 4,650. Then 4,650. Then 5,500. Then 5,650. No, 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 no. We got another 5,500 here. So 5,500. Then 5,525. Then 5,650. Then 5,980. Then 6250. Do you see how I'm taking both bits of information and I'm now compiling a list from both of those? And then what am I going to do? I'm then going to find the middle one. So that's how I'm finding the mode of both agencies. All right. Nice question. Right, we are running out of time. Let's have a look here quickly. Tandek has a shop with a scrapbooking department and a toy department. She kept a record of the ages of the customers who visit the two departments on a particular day. Scrapbooking is a hobby which involves cutting and pasting photos, pictures and other decorative items in a book. Now, folk, the reason I've read this is I wanted to show you that all the questions are going to be very, very similar. Just the scenarios are different. So when I'm learning for a maths examination, guys, you should be taking past papers and working through them and doing them and doing them over and over and over again. Why? Because at the end of the year, the chances are you're going to get questions that are almost exactly the same, but different scenarios. So if you look at this previous scenario, we were looking at salaries between Greytown and Joburg. Now we're looking at figures to do with a scrapbooking department, okay? And then when we look at this, we get all these kind of information. Ages of customers who go to the scrapbooking department, ages of customers who visit the toy department. And we're not going to do the questions, but let's just look at the questions because I want to show you that they're very similar. Arrange the um, ages in order. Why? Because later on they're going to ask you to calculate the mode and the median. The next question was determine the mode. All right. Same as the previous one, just different scenario. Calculate the mean. Determine the median. Guys, questions are going to be the same every single year. Just the scenarios are going to be totally and utterly different. Okay. So finally then, in this segment, we've covered the following. We've looked uh, or rather we've worked with various examples which have had several calculations dealing with the mean, median and mode. My time is up. Trust you've learnt a lot today and we'll see each other again soon on the big screen. Until then, enjoy.